I'm Mary Clark. I have one foot in the heartland and the other in the fashion world. A single mom at 19, I opened my first business at 23, started life over at 35 with a blended family of six. My husband and I have discovered some of the top names in fashion and beyond. Seek Find You is about fresh starts, taking risks, new endeavors, and what it's like behind the scenes in the modeling world. Join me in discovering how you can seek and find everything you're meant to be. It's Monday, and I'm here, and I'm recording a podcast, and that might not sound like a huge accomplishment, but honestly, it it's, it's pretty major. So here's the deal. I, for I think it was a couple of years, had been recording Mother Mary Monday. It was just this fun, light podcast that uh, we decided to do. Of course, Jeff really encouraged me and said, this is what you should be doing. Also the kids. Anyway, I digress. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And I had so much fun and literally in the midst of 2020, as with so many things, I kept going with the podcast until the month of May uh, when we were in still quarantine time. And I remember after the last one that we recorded, I looked at Jeff and I said, I have to take a break. I felt like I was not being my normal, transparent, uh, real self and knew that I needed to unplug, recalibrate, reset, rethink everything, really, not just not just this podcast. So as with all of us, we did a lot of assessment of our business, what we've been doing for this year, 2022 marks 25 years of Jeff and I together building this wonderful um, company called Mother, which has included building people and discovering people and helping them learn and helping them grow. And it was a time in 2020 that we really sat down and did a lot of how can we expand our tent cords? How can we do more things? Anyway, long story short, what I thought was gonna be a little break ended up being um, a pretty significant chunk of time of about a year and a half. And now I'm here today, to, happy to be resetting, reestablishing, reigniting, restarting my podcast in a little bit different light, um, still along the same concept, but I feel, you know, we started Mother Mary Monday as just let's go do this fun thing. And now we're being much more intentional about the message. Uh, we want to include interviews and kind of share more of our world. But first, we wanted to start here. So a year ago, so around July of 2021, we attempted to start again. We were like, oh, maybe we should refigure how we were doing things and then in that time, a lot happened in our world. We tragically lost one of our models to a, a horrific accident in July. And then, um, then all of a sudden we started to see the world starting to open up again and realizing, okay, Fashion Week is, is going to happen. So September through October, you know, you're in that kind of fashion week bubble. And then all of a sudden it was time to focus on tribute, which tribute this year was hands down our best ever. It was a sold out event. It just felt so wonderful to be together. And you value and appreciate all of it uh, in such a different way on such a significant different level. And now here we are in 2022 and it's a new year and it's our 25th year and we do honestly have a lot of wonderful things in store that I want to share through this podcast. We'll share through our social media. Uh, we're expanding on different ways that we can share um, what we're going to do. So I have renamed this podcast Seek Find You with Mary Clark. Seek Find You is something that came to me, honestly, years ago. It was 
I felt God kind of giving me this vision that was a very incomplete vision as he does. It was, it was a little tiny piece. It was a little tiny fraction of a piece of an idea. Uh, and I didn't even know what it was or what it could be. Just like mother, just like really honestly everything in my life. I don't need to see the big picture. I don't, let me take that back. I do need to see the big picture but then I just need the little glimpse and then another little glimpse and then another little step and I'll keep going on those steps until all of a sudden I go, wow, it's 25 years and look at what we've built with mother. Or this year marks 10 years for our tribute show, which I can't believe, which also came as a little teeny tiny idea. Seek Find You to me represents the bigger mission of of what we do, of not only helping other people uh, discover things about themselves and us to discover, it also is the, a, a bigger version of what are all the possibilities and what are those beautiful things that are deep inside of you that you can unfold that can lead to a richer and more wonderful life. In my thought time and in my journaling and all the things that I have done during this time that I'm thankful for, even though I don't like what had to happen in order for it to happen, I realized I was like, I, I was adopted at birth and I had the most wonderful parents. And what I have realized is my parents never t tried to tell me who I was. I see that in our business, sometimes parents wanting to define who their children are. And I was raised in a way that that was just not at all what it was. And, and if anything, they supported me discovering myself and what that was. And really until the day my mother breathed her last breath, she was always in our corner supporting us, even though she fully, I can't even say that she fully completely understood everything that we did and I was uh, different than, it, I was, it was different than what she was used to, but that didn't stop her from encouraging. And we have such a passion for that in the people that we meet, not just within the modeling world, but beyond that. I have had a lifetime of entrepreneurship. I started my first business, a brick and mortar business when I was 23 years old, got an official SBA loan, the whole nine yards. <laughs> I, what I lacked in knowledge and experience, I made up for it with enthusiasm and just chutzpah, but unfortunately that can only take you so far. And so uh, my business, Body Heat Workout Studio, uh, didn't last super long. It was open about a year and a half, but I, two things. I remember when it closed thinking that I was the biggest failure and, and that was just defining the rest of my life because I had had this dream that, that didn't end up manifesting into what I wanted it to be, um, which was hard. But I also learned, hey, I can do more than I think that I can. and. It helped me to continue to think outside the box. There's been a common theme in everything that I've done, in every entrepreneurial endeavor, in every passion that I have pursued, I realized I love discovery. I love finding a new person. I love, and so does Jeff, thank God, uh, that we both love that. And then we love helping them discover what, what they're about. And in the journey that we get to experience, entering into a global situation and, and traveling and experiencing the things that we've done and being alongside somebody in that pursuit, you learn so much about what it takes, the mindset, the, the, the discipline, the fortitude. And so I feel like, not I feel like, I know we have a lot from these 25 years, an earned place of information and knowledge and inspiration that we know that we have to teach and we want to. And so 
there's just so many wonderful things that are unfolding, but of course I can't share it all in one 15 minute podcast. The other thing that I, that I really uh, took away from this time is it's all about what you look for. It, life is what you look for. So if you look for beauty, if you look for opportunity, if you look for the good in people, if you look for uh, that unique quality, and not just in other people, but if you allow yourself to do the same thing for you, it's life-changing. On the other side of it, if anything has been um, painfully clear in this time, is it's also what you look for. If you dig for dirt and look for scandal or view yourself as a victim or see things as a conspiracy, it, it skews everything in your life. And so what you look for, what you seek is what you find. And when you seek the right stuff, it's amazing what you find. And in that unfolding, you find yourself in the most amazing place that you can be. Also, I've done a little assessment of, I have a little couple of notes, the ones who have longevity in what they do are the ones that pursue really gaining an understanding of themselves. They're the ones who know who they are. And if they don't know, they're open to having that unfold. I am telling you, I, I could go down a list of models that we have, but a couple in particular right now, watching them, witnessing them in this process, coming into themselves and finding who they are and celebrating who they are and not making, um, uh, not watering themselves down or not trying to fit in and just allowing themselves to blossom into who they're meant to be is the most beautiful thing in the world. And it's the most important thing. And it's what the foundation of everything that we do and everything we believe in. And so that's why Seek Find You is here. It's here and it is gonna unfold and it's gonna be a beautiful thing and I'm super excited. And part of Seek Find You is this podcast. I am thrilled to be bringing it back. I wanna share with you. I wanna interview wonderful people. I wanna engage. I think community is really, really important. Um, I've realized too that the more you feel not alone, but a sense of community and support and people who believe in you, it changes everything. So, welcome to Reboot. <laughs> Seek Find You with Mary Clark 2022. I hope that you subscribe. I hope that you uh, experience wonderful things through this new podcast. And let me tell you, if you go back and listen, those 84 other podcasts that we did are pretty darn amazing. Uh, I am telling you that there's times that I look back and I listen and I go, wow. I forgot about that, or I learned this, or this really helped me with that. So anyway, I'm super excited. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. <laughs> what did I talk about, honey? No idea. <laughs>